Hey, I throw pies at short people. I'm four foot ten, three quarters. Where's my pie? Where is it? Ah, uh, fell into the black hole. Sorry. Ah. Uh, can I can I get that pie now? Sure, just go and get it from right over there. Guys, I'm phobic. Uh, uh, I'm just scared. You know, some people say rolling for stats in D and D is old fashioned and unforgiving, but I think it builds character. Yes! Two small indie bands on two different stages facing each other. First band plays their own original music, but the band across from them plays it all backwards perfectly. If you stand at the exact midpoint between the stages, all you hear is silence. <gasps> you were there. I accidentally read for 11 hours. Accidentally. Right. He's a nine, but gets naked in a sewer regularly. Which makes him a 10. Pennywise? Writing prompt. You work for a secret agency that deals with the supernatural, and you just shared a dumb idea with your boss as a joke. Hey, instead of keeping everything under wraps, why don't we just release all the info to the public, but pretend it's a work of fiction? You got promoted on the spot. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. I feel like I've done this one, but Neanderthals. <laughs> it's... Yeah. To anyone who says Virgil is the coolest character in video games, I give you this. Virgil, always fighting his brother, needs a sword and demon magic to cause any real damage, lacks any sort of facial hair, has never de-haunted a building before, and isn't an Italian. Now Luigi loves his brother very much, can and will beat the shit out of you with nothing but a vacuum, has a glorious flowing mustache, has de-haunted at least seven buildings before, and is Italian. I think we all know who wins out. Oh, yeah. You know, Pinocchio could tell us so much about the universe, he could randomly claim things like, The Big Bang happened! And his nose would confirm or deny our theories. Ugh. Pinocchio's not omniscient. His nose grows when he's intentionally being dishonest. Things heating up in the Pinocchio fandom. Double clicks ya. Windows asks me what to open you with. I choose notepad. I delete a random chunk of text. And save as .exe. Oh, thanks, I needed that. <laughs> My father told me once to never date anyone who talks smoothly around you from the start, because if someone likes you, they should be a little nervous. And honestly, I think that's some of the best advice anyone has ever given me. And I just told my dad about this text post and he got so excited he teared up and then he said he felt like he just adopted 40,000 new children to share his wisdom with and he hopes all of you meet kind, sweet people he would be proud of. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Gnomes are just ground gargoyles. You shut your mouth. You're under arrest. On what charge? All of them. Literally all of them. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for a faint buzzing noise. A comedy. Andy, do you hear it? I think I hear it. <gasps> it's over there. Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's co-worker. <laughs> co-workers, Jesus. Rewind. <laughs> Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's workers by ordering a burger in perfect Japanese. I... I feel like I need context for this one. But I'm probably not gonna get it. I love haunting. When it's literal, I love haunting as a metaphor, I love haunting as a feeling you carry, I love haunting as a memory of past trauma you experienced or caused, I love haunting as a person, I love haunting as a place, I love haunting as something alive that you tried to bury, but it clawed its way out of a hole you dug and found its way back to you! I love haunting as something dead that you cannot let die! Give me all the spoopies! When you're watching TV and your sibling gets out of the good chair to get a drink, it's free real estate. Sibling culture is willingly dehydrating yourself for hours to avoid giving up the seat you earned, Zach!